guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be using the Violet Voss Like a Boss palette. So this palette has all of these dark sort of fall toned shadows and it will be available on March 9th for $45 exclusively available at shopvioletboss.com and at Sephora. So my review will be at the end of the video, and if you want to see the three looks that I created using the palette, then please keep on watching. To start off look number one, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Flesh Tone Flash Palette. And I'm taking that really ugly brown, just wait, you'll see why. And I am placing this on the outer V of my eye, and then I am bringing that into my crease. So this is going to be like a very ash toned kind of look so that's why I'm using this color as my base. So then I am just blending that into the skin so that my eyeshadow goes on nice and smooth. And then I'm just setting, well I'm adding a second layer, just kidding. I'm adding a second layer and then I'm going to be setting it with a powder. Now I'm taking the shade Hustle and I am running this in the crease, upper crease area as my transition shade. And now I'm taking the shade Woman Crush Wednesday and I am working this into my crease and the outer V of my eye. Then I'm taking the shade Motivate and I'm going to be darkening up the outer V and the crease of my eye. Then I'm taking the shade Inspo, which is the black in the palette, and I am placing this on the outer corner of my eye again. We're just darkening up for depth and dimension, and of course, blending that out, making sure it is all nice and fused. Now I'm taking the shimmery shade called Smart AF, because I'm Smart AF, obvi. <laughs> And I am placing this all over my lid. Now this shade is a duochrome like green brown. So if you were to put this on top of a black, I'm sure it would be like a totally different color than just placing it on a flesh tone color. Now I'm taking the Makeup Geek Pencil in Spice. And I am placing this in my waterline and along my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take a dual fiber brush and smudge that out. And then I'm going to take the shadows that I use in the crease, outer V of my eye, and work them along the lower lash line. Then I'm taking more of the black and just working that in the outer corner, adding a little bit more depth to the eye look. Then I'm taking the shade Extra and I'm placing this on the half of my lower lash line, inner half of my lower lash line, and then I'm taking, what was it, swag and placing this on the inner corner of my eye. And I quite like this color, it's like a greenish gold white color, it's pretty. Now for lashes, I'm popping on the House of Lashes Allura Light Lashes, and this is finished look number one. Alright, for look number two, we're using the same Makeup Forever Flesh Tone Flash Palette. I'm taking a burgundy shade, and I'm running this in my crease. For my base, I just have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer down without setting. So I will always set after I work in my cream shadows, or whatever I'm using, cream. So yeah, put it, placing that in my crease, blending it out, and then I'm going to set that with a loose powder. And now I'm going to take the shade Hustle again as my transition shade. Then I'm going to take the shade Serve and place that in my crease. Going to blend as I go with more of the first shade. And then I'm going to add another layer of that color. 
And now to deepen that up more, I'm going to take the shade, I can see it. I'm taking the shade Boss and I'm deepening up the crease. Now I'm going to be deepening that up with Strong. Same way, placing it and then blending it out with the other brushes and the other colors that we used. And then I just cut my crease off camera. I just cut my crease in a winged out shape and now I'm going to be taking the shade Queen and I am placing this on the outer half of my lid. And then I'm taking the shade Fierce and I am placing this on the inner half of my lid. And then once I have that down, I'm going to switch back and forth between the two brushes just to make sure they transition into each other seamlessly. Next up, I'm taking the Ico Black Magic Liquid Liner and I am drawing a wing. And this is when my eye started going watery, if you can see in the inner corner of my eye. So, after drawing the wing, I had to kind of think of something, a way of how I was going to fix this. So, I'm going to be taking the black, which is Inspo, and I'm actually going to smoke out this wing. So, I'm just kind of going over, like, the edge of the wing and with a pencil brush and just kind of smoking it out. then because it looks definitely super thick and crazy I just grabbed a makeup wipe and I'm slimming down that wing and cleaning everything up just taking my liquid liner again and going over my lash line and of course smoking that out a little bit more Now I'm taking this Makeup Forever Aqua XL pencil, I believe this is I-32, and I'm running this in my waterline and along my lower lash line. I like this color, it's so pretty. So then of course just smudging that out, and then over top I'm going to be going over with the shade Royal, which is so pretty as well. See I'm just packing that on, and then I'm taking, oh, totally forgot to place this shade in there. I believe this is the same shade that I used on the lid in the inner corner. Then I'm just darkening up the crease because I felt like the look was very heavy along the lash line and not dark enough in the crease. So just darkening that up a bit and blending. Then for lashes, I'm popping on the Violet Voss IDGAF lashes and this is finished look number two. Alright, so for look number three, I'm taking the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner, the black, but you can use any creamy black eyeliner. And I am drawing this on the inner and outer thirds of my eye, because I'm going for pretty dramatic halo eye for this look. And then I am just smudging them into my skin. Now I know I say this pretty much in every video, but I just want to reinforce it. I always try to spend as much time as I can blending out my base because this way if my base is smooth then my eyeshadows 
will be smooth as well. So then I am just setting it with a powder. And then to start the shadows, I'm going to be using Woman Crush Wednesday for my transition shade. And then I just picked up a bit of Hustle to blend that out. Then I'm taking the shade Strong and I'm going to start packing these on the inner and outer third of my eye. And then I am blending with Woman Crush Wednesday. And then I'm picking up more of Inspo, which is the black, and I am darkening up the inner and outer thirds of my eye. And then I am blending with the lash shade. So now I'm picking up the shade Girl Crush and I am adding this to the center of my lid. And wow, this color! And then I'm taking Smart AF and I'm going to place this, like not too much of this, but I'm placing this like from the transition of the gold to the darker color. Then I am taking more of the black liner that I used previously and this is when the eye watering starts for this look. Can you see? Basically where my eye was watering nothing would stick so that's just an issue that I have. So just um, do this normally as you would for this type of look. I kept going back and trying to fix it because it just kept watering and shadows wouldn't stick to it but basically everything that I did on the top of the lid you're gonna mimic that on the bottom of the lid then I'm taking swag and I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye and swipe off the big and then to finish off the look I'm using the Violet Voss I think unicorn something lash All right guys, Whew. my eyes are killing me. They are weeping, it kind of ruined the last look, but that's okay. You guys get the point of the video. The black, oh my God, is so pigmented. And guys, I used black in a look, actually in two of the looks, but like this is like a black halo eye. Can you believe that? So my review of the palette, I do quite like the palette, however, something about their mattes, they seem like they have like a little bit of shimmer in it, and maybe I just didn't notice it before, but like I always notice it in photos, like I feel like they're almost satin and they're not completely matte, maybe it's just me thinking about it too much, I don't know, but the foil shadows are so pretty, and I don't think I wet any of them, so they're like super pigmented, like, let's swatch a couple... like boom pigment and they are like hello <laughs> my only thing is i kind of wish that they released this palette when they released the hashtag palette and that they released the hashtag palette now because i feel like this is more 
springy summery and I feel like this is more winter fall wintry so that's my only downfall with this palette so if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue doing three looks in one palette I don't know how many of these I can do because my eyes just do not like it they just start watering and it's just too much on my eyes but every once in a while if you want me to do a three looks in one palette I can totally do that all right guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you on my next video bye guys